The British pound opened the session moving lower, trading down all the way to 125.40 before reversing higher and getting all the way back up to 126. Now, a lot of that came after weaker than expected retail sales in the U.S. and the dollar got crushed, helping to prop up most FX currencies across the board, including the pound. So the pound, which started off lower, saw a big rally off a weaker dollar, again, getting back to 126. Now, the pound has struggled in 2024, specifically over the last couple of weeks, after the Fed saw a shift in expectations for rate cuts in the U.S. get pushed out beyond March, now focusing on June. The dollar was propped up then and continues to stay elevated while the pound suffers. So the pound has been trading near the bottom end of its range over the last several months, but again, saw a move off those lows today, getting back to 126 on the close. Now, what does this mean to volatility? Well, check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com. You will notice that volatility continues to move lower. In fact, we are trading at one-year lows in pound volatility. A lot of that having to do with the fact that we've been stuck in a range since going back to Thanksgiving of last year. We've basically traded in a range of 125 to 128, seeing much of those lows over the last couple of weeks, given the fact that we've seen a shift in expectations and the dollar strength coming back. We've seen the pound moving lower. But again, we haven't been able to see a major breakout in the pound going back for some four months. That's helping to keep a lid on volatility and watching it continue to drift lower as it did today. Lastly, let's talk about positioning. What are speculators doing? Well, since the beginning of the year, they've been adding small to their net long positions. It wasn't too long ago that speculators were net short. Going back to November of last year, they covered those net shorts between November and January. And since January, they've been getting net long, albeit small. So as we see the pound kind of trade this range off the lows and see trading near the low end of that range, we've seen speculators adding to their net long positions. So as we near the end of the week and a U.S. holiday weekend, we see the pound struggling early, but gathering some steam and moving higher in the afternoon on a weaker dollar ahead of key U.S. data points tomorrow. That's the PPI and University of Michigan sentiment.